should you be making YouTube videos? We're gonna talk about that, and we're starting right now. What is going on? My name is Nick. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos, and all types of other YouTube-related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. With that out of the way, today I am here with Brian G. Johnson from Brian G. Johnson TV here on YouTube. So Brian, I've got some questions for you here and, and I hope you can answer these for me. So we all know that, that YouTube, in addition to you know ranking videos, in addition to um, making everything look cool and all that stuff, a lot of times it also comes down to personality. Personality, absolutely. Right? So so what do you think is if somebody has if somebody's wanting to start YouTube but but they say, okay, I don't know if I have the personality for YouTube or not. I don't know if I should be on camera or not. What 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 do you what do you what do you have for that? Great question, and I think it's really important to first really have an idea of where you want to go with your channel. What is your channel gonna be about? What is the vision that you have for success? What does that mean? Is it subscribers? Is it money? Is it getting a message you're very passionate about when you understand these things? Then you can say, okay, how am I going to get there? And that becomes like, what type of videos can I make? Do I need to be in front of the camera? Maybe the answer that, to yeah, that, that. That's huge, right? Because making that choice, you know, hey, do I need to be in front of the camera? Do I need to be, you, maybe it's better that you do tutorial videos. Right? Absolutely. Like every every YouTube channel doesn't, doesn't have to be somebody in front of the camera. Maybe it's better if you do tutorials. Maybe it's better if you use like the Ken Burns effect. Absolutely. And you have like images sliding around or you do voiceovers over stock photos or something like that where you're not actually showing your face or, or whatever, especially if you have issues. Yes. With that, right? Absolutely, and that, that really goes back to like, what are you trying to achieve? And then dialing back and creating a content strategy around the videos you're gonna create to move forward. Now, that being said, I also think it's really important to understand the very best ways to connect with an audience without question. Being able to see somebody, everything that makes them human, that's the good, the bad, sometimes the ugly, that's the ticks, that's the imperfections, and so on. And at the end of the day, you don't have to be perfect, but if, it, if it's so overpowering that it detracts from the message, that is maybe a good time to think about, you know, I can, if I want to, do voiceovers. I can do the Ken Burns effects. I can make animated videos, and I know many channels that have absolutely blown up based on voiceovers combined with animated shorts, animated videos, and so on. So again, it's really understanding where you want to go first, and then second, thinking about the content plan. Nice, and, and you know, you mentioned um, you don't have to be perfect. I mean, how do we define perfect anyway? A really great point, Nick, and, and to me, one of the things that's so amazing about video and about putting ourselves out there is really appreciating that there is so much power in authenticity. I, I had this I have this quote, I can't remember exactly what it, how it goes, but it's basically that authenticity is striving for greatness while being willing to put yourself in front of an audience, imperfections, quirks and all. And I'm I'm the kind of the granddaddy poobah of that, you know, and, and being willing of going through that process be willing to put myself out there and improve along the way. And this is really a question of just being willing again to start one time, just one time, make a video, get in front of the camera, do the voiceover, but make a video. That is where it begins. Do you recommend people practice? Practice makes more better. Absolutely. You know, like like one thing that, a trick that, that we always recommend to people um, is talking out loud. Out loud. It, it sounds so simple. And but it, but, it but as far as working on your on your personality, working on your on camera personality, working on how you use your voice when you're making videos and things like that. If you while you're driving in your car, you practice things that you would say in a video. While you're at home alone, you know, you're in the shower or whatever, instead of singing in the shower, maybe you want to practice, you know, how you would how you would end a particular phrase that you're gonna be talking about. Yeah, absolutely. Really understanding the power of delivery, voice inflections, and really making a statement, having the ability to grab someone, to, to for them to wanna to watch more. 
And so very often, Nick, I will, I'll think of the videos that I'm gonna be shooting as I'm moving forward with my day and I, I'm getting started around the cappuccino machine or, or maybe I'm, I'm, I'm firing up some food in the oven and I'm, I'm visualizing myself on stage or I'm visualizing myself in front of the camera and I walk around the house like a crazy person really practicing the lines, thinking of how I wanna communicate in the most powerful way and the more you do that, the better you become. It's just how life works. Absolutely. Well, Brian, thank you so much for that insight. I really appreciate it. Thanks for coming on the channel. It's been awesome hanging out. Fantastic. It's been so much fun, dude. Man, yes. last day and we're rocking it here at VidSummit. I'm gonna have links to Brian down in the description. Of course, there's gonna be cards at the top of the screen as well. And if you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.